Hello and welcome to Tomb Raider. This is the 2013 reboot, of course, <laughs> not the original. Uh, well, let's just jump in, shall we? Let's get rid of that and <laughs> let's start a new game. I'll stick to normal for now, I think. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure, but instead, adventure found me. moments when life flashes before us we find something something that keeps us going something that pushes us Okay, so, as you can see, right from the start, Lara does not have much of a good time in this game. She's constantly being beaten around and, well, she just keeps ending up in really horrible situations. So it's a very different kind of Tomb Raider game. I have actually played this before, I played it back in 2013 when it came out. And at the time, it was the first Tomb Raider game I've played since Anniversary. So, that was a pretty big gap. I think there was like a five year gap between Underworld and this even, so... Yeah. <laughs> it was criticised at the time for... Being sort of more of an action adventure than what people expected from a Tomb Raider game. But I didn't really have that hanging over me at the time, I just enjoyed it for what it was, which was a really good action adventure. And I'm really looking forward to playing it again actually, so... Let's start. So, Lara's in one of the many horrible situa situations she ends up in. Uh, we're currently hanging upside down. Help! From a rope. <laughs> um, Help! I think we just have to knock this, whatever that is, into that flame over there, which should set it on fire. There we go. Oh, that was a previous victim. <laughs> oh dear. No, we really can't die like this, Lara. Let's not do that. But we have set fire to this other wooden beam now, so... If I can swing myself into that... There we go. That seems like a good idea. Or not. Well, that still makes me wince so much. Yeah, let's get rid of that, shall we? Eesh. Yeah, that's just horrible, isn't it? I should probably mention that if you're at all squeamish, 
you might not have such a good time watching this. Especially the amount of times I'm probably going to die. Oh god. No. No, no. What is this place? Hmm. Who is that? Is that a member of Lara's crew or is that a previous victim? I'm not sure actually. Oh. Cool, okay, now we have fire. Okay, yeah, we can set fire to all this rubble, which should make ourselves a little path. There we go. Let's keep going. The start of this game is pretty much on rails, really. You haven't really got much choice of what to do. But there are a few little puzzles to get through. Ah, uh, yes, this is a new mechanic. You can press left bumper at any point to kind of highlight interactive stuff in the area. So in theory, I should never really be all that stuck. <laughs> I guess we'll find out about that. And let's set fire to this. Okay, that should hopefully ignite that barrel over there. <laughs> Blimey. Well, that works. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, this whole place is kind of falling apart around us. Oh god! Um, yep, <laughs> let's get rid of him. Yikes. Yeah, I don't think that guy was trying to help us somehow. So yeah, it was actually this game that got me playing the entire series again. Like I said, I really loved playing this back in 2013. And afterwards I just had a real urge to go back and play the entire series. So I did. Unfortunately I only started recording them from Tomb Raider 3. With the live streams. And obviously it was only from Chronicles that I started doing proper Let's Plays. So at some point I will go back and make videos for the first few games, but not for a while. <laughs> okay, I think we have to find some way through all this crap. Which includes lots of explosive barrels and two unexploded mines. And there's a rather convenient chute leading to it, so let's see what we can work with. We have fire, that's a good start. Let's find out, shall we? I can set fire to these two, which should release this. Okay, and that's lowered this little scoop over here. Which seems to be picking up all this stuff, so... Okay, let's keep going. Aha! Right, I can jump onto the lift. Ah, nice. I remember this. <laughs> so that's filled up that sort of hopper up there. So now I think we can set fire to all that stuff and send it into the rubble. The, um, the... Yeah, <laughs> that stuff. Here we go. Yep, that sounds like a really good plan, Lara. Let's get out of here. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like all the stuff we've been doing to get free is also bringing the whole place down around us, so we better keep moving. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, I still have control of Lara here. There's quite a few sections like that where if you turn the wrong way, you'll probably end up dead. Quite violently dead. Blimey, doesn't it look great though? I remember being so impressed with how this looked back in the day. Oh, he's back. Oh, and there's our first QTE. 
<laughs> that's quite a few of those. Oh, yikes, okay. <laughs> that could have been us if we hung around too much longer. Right, over again. Oh dear. Okay, so right now we just have to hammer the shoulder buttons. Uh, oh no. <laughs> and dodge falling debris too. And again. So far so good. Come on, you can do it, Lara. Almost there. Almost there. And we've escaped, and isn't this just beautiful? I think I spent a good five minutes here first time around just taking screenshots. It just looks so good. All the lighting and everything, the water effects. It's a pretty good looking game. It's a few years old now, and even now it's still pretty stunning. Where are they indeed? There's quite a big focus on story in the reboots compared to the earlier games. So there's a much bigger cast of characters okay. in this. Take it slow. And most of the game is about finding all of them basically and getting off the island. It's also a story of course of... Oh shh! Crikey. <laughs> Yeah, it's also a story, of course, of how Lara Croft becomes, well, Lara Croft Tomb Raider, I suppose. Okay. And needless to say, it's much more of a baptism of fire than Anniversary was. <laughs> I do like what they're doing with this Lara, actually. She's a much more believable character, as a human being, anyway. She's still kind of a superhero, of course, but um, not quite so overtly. I can do this. We can do this. So, in the last Crystal Dynamics games, it was always quite obvious where you had to climb because you could always see certain types of ledges. In this game, oh god, <laughs> pretty much anything climbable has this white highlight on it. And worse, if worse comes to the worst, you can always use your detective mode thing. Come on. Come on. So I should never get too lost. Oh no. Come on, just a little bit further, Lara. Blimey. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, Lara really isn't looking too good, is she? I think we have to find somewhere we can rest. Uh, this is another new move. Lara can now sort of... Um, she can jump onto a wall and jump straight up from it. Sam's pack. I'm not quite sure how that works in terms of physics, but it is a cool little move. Sam! They must have come this way. Okay, we found ourselves a radio. And some matches, it looked like. Oh, oh no. Um, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I 
Okay, it's amazing that Lava's still alive at this point, let alone still walking. <laughs> That's Lara for you, though. Oh, great, and I can hear wolves. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai... No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously Enough. cons... Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here?
I can't just sit here. Oh, let's find something to eat. Let's find some food then, shall we? I bet Lara's are, oh. Okay, that looks tasty. But we have to find some way to kill it first. Oh god. What's going on here? Wait. I can use that bow. And that's rather convenient. Let's see if we can't get that bow for ourselves. I think Lara might be regretting her decision to come to this island at this point. I don't think things are going entirely to plan for her. Oop. I can do this. Here we go. Yikes. Okay. See if this thing still works. Just remember Roth's training. You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. Yeah, I should say I, I really love the combat in this so game. Hungry. I need to find something to eat. It's much better than any Tomb Raider game before it, and the bow and arrows, especially, are just so satisfying to use. Even this makeshift one. Anyway, what happened to that deer? I can hear something walking around. Still no sign of it though. Aha, what's that over there? There it is. Okay, sorry about this little friend, but I need food. Oh crap. There we go. Sorry. Okay, well. All right, Lara. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. Uh, yeah, we've got our food now, but we still need to find our way back to the fire. Which I guess was back up here. And I think we're going to be able to start leveling ourselves up. There's a whole new experience mechanic in this game, and a crafting mechanic, actually. And here we go. So we have one skill point, so we can pick one new skill. Uh, we've already got animal instincts. If we can, that's how we can spot um, animals and stuff. Uh, extra rewards for looting corpses and food caches. Extra salvage from crates. Extra salvage from animal corpses. Ah, arrow retrieval. That's quite a quite a handy skill. That means that if we shoot stuff, we have a chance of recovering arrows from the bodies. Let's pick that, actually. I do like that skill. You do also have a whole other set of hunter skills, too. But we've used up all our points for now. Okay, that's just our stats. And so far, everything else is unavailable, but we will have more stuff to do at camp later on. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth! Lara! You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach, and then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth. 
and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. <sighs> Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Okay. It certainly seems in this game that Lara learns all her survivalist skills from Roth. So Roth is kind of a father figure to her. Music. Music indeed. Where's it coming from? Aha. Okay. Now that was closed earlier. Hello? Is someone there? Of course, going towards any signs of civilization around here might not be such a good idea, but we don't have much choice. This could be a way through. Damn it. Here we go. I must say, actually, they've done a really good job with the subtitles on this game. I don't play with subtitles when I'm playing on my own, but I kind of figure it's consider it to do it for Let's Plays. <laughs> but I do like how they're, they're even including like sound effects in the subtitles at what some points. Talking? Different colours for different characters, that kind of thing as well. What am I doing? Good question, Lara. What are you doing? Oh God, this is insane. Yep, but anyway, what do we have here? We have a locked door, which I can't open yet because I haven't got the pickaxe. What's this? This traditional no mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. Okay, this is a kind of weird new feature. You can find little artifacts from time to time, and you have to kind of rotate them until you can find some extra detail about them. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. There you go. When you do, you earn some extra experience. So I guess in base collectibles have more of a thematic point. Uh, that's a little bit of salvage for us too. Now it sounds like the music is coming from inside here. This weird satanic butchery and we have an axe and I guess this is what was playing the music <laughs> okay let's not hang around to see who set it playing let's get out of here Yep, yeah, I do kind of like the the little QTEs for opening doors. This makes it feel a little bit more physical. And there is a power-up you can get later on to speed things up too. Which is good. Okay. Aha. Okay, I think this is our way out. So here we go. Yeah, in this game, we no longer have to hammer the Y button to climb faster, you just climb at full speed. That's definitely an improvement. Okay, I can hear voices. One's familiar, one is not. Did you get that? Got it! We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. Laura, you made it. 
Sam. Um, Thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the sun. Right, Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <sighs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to miss. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. <sighs> but what happened to you? Okay, great. <laughs> this is not a good situation. I think we're about to be attacked by wolves. And we can't move because we're stuck in that bear trap. Oh, hello. Where's he gone? Oh. Oh, blimey. Okay, one down. They always come in packs though, so there must be more. Two down. Now is there a third? I can hear something. Oh, blimey. <laughs> what a shot. When I woke up, they were both gone. You can't shoot Nico one time off. We need to find them. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Rock? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Lara and meet up with Rock. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no. Le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Rock. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. You gonna be okay? Yes, I. Oh, we just need to rest for a few minutes. You sit. Uh, you sit here. I'll. Uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. So bad. Okay, yeah. I really wouldn't have trusted that Matthias guy. <laughs> he was so shady. But anyway, that's probably a good place to leave it for now.
I know it's been quite a cutscene heavy episode, but then it was the first one, and hopefully things will start opening out quite soon. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.